Let's take a look at how to uninstall Lightroom and then reinstall Lightroom. Now you can do this uh, for a couple reasons. Typically, you're having problems. So if Lightroom is crashing or if it's slow and sluggish, um, the first thing you want to do is just uninstall and reinstall. Oftentimes that fixes a lot of problems. So we're going to do that by going to our Creative Cloud desktop icon here. It's a, a red icon with two white C's. So remember it's called CC. Well, these are two flipped over C's that make it look like a cloud. Very creative. Now, if you don't have a, a desktop icon like this, you can come down in a Windows computer and you'll see this on the very right hand side of your taskbar. You'll see the two C's in the tiny icon. You might see a red dot next to them as well. That's just uh, a notification. Uh, notification. <laughs> now, if you're on a Macintosh, you'll want to come up the screen to the upper right side of your screen and you'll see the two uh, black C's, the cloud up in that area. So I'm going to double click on the Creative Cloud desktop icon and I'm going to get my Creative Cloud desktop application. First thing I want to do is in this first, first row here, I want to choose the apps tab. The apps, of course, are short for applications and uh, or programs that uh, Windows users are known by. And then we want to come down to the next row and click on installed apps. And that'll just narrow your list down a little bit. And then we're going to come down to Lightroom Classic. And you'll notice that it says open. That means that if I want, I can open it right now. But it also means that I'm up to date. Now I have the latest version. So I want to get rid of this latest version. Let's, let's pretend I'm having some problems and I need to reinstall. So I'm not going to click on open. I'm going to keep on going over to this downward facing arrow or this triangle marker. Click there and I'm going to choose uninstall. Now it's important to uh, read this. I'm going to read it for you so you don't have to, but it says, would you like to remove notification, alerts, interface settings, and other preferences? So the main question is, do you want to delete your preferences? This may prevent your preferences from being migrated to newer versions of the application. So the answer to the question is, do you say yes or no? Basically, you always say no. I don't want to delete the preferences. I want to keep my app preferences. The only time that we would say yes is if you were uninstalling Lightroom forever and you're never, ever, ever going to reinstall it again. Or if you find that the preferences actually might be causing the problem of your crashes or your slowing down of the computer. I usually recommend the first time you uninstall, keep your app preferences. That way we can reinstall Lightroom and if it's running great, Perfect. It was just a reinstall that fixed it. Because if you delete your app, your preferences, you kind of have to start over and go back through all your preferences and all your interface design and put it back where you had it before. So in this case, we're going to know I want to keep my app preferences. Now, you'll notice that our icon has gone to a progress bar. Right now I'm at 0, 6, 7, 10. So I'm uninstalling the program. Uninstalling usually uh, goes much faster <laughs> than installing because it doesn't have to go through the download process. So we're just going to watch it uninstall. Now at this point, um, don't panic. Your pictures are safe. Your pictures do not live inside of the application. Your catalog is safe. It lives on a different hard drive or a different folder than the application. So all three areas, the application, the catalog, and the images are in different locations, different folders. So it's okay to do this uninstall as many times as you want and you will not affect your um, images or your catalog. Okay, so now you'll notice, uh-oh, Lightroom Classic disappeared. Well, remember I said click on installed apps? Well, I just uninstalled it, so it's not there anymore. So now I have to go over and click on all apps. And when I scroll down, 
Ah, there it is, Lightroom Classic. Now, there's a couple ways we can install. We can just click the Install button, and it will install the latest version of Lightroom, whatever that may be. But if the latest version of Lightroom is what's causing the problems, oftentimes we want to go back a version. Not a whole entire version, like from 7 to 6, but we just want to go from, say, 7.3 to 7.2 or 7.1 or... Uh, 7.9 down to 7.8. So just go down a, a one point. Try not to jump too many points. To do that, we're going to click on the downward facing arrow and say other versions. Now it's going to give me a list of all the possible versions that I could install. Now, other versions mean other than the latest. So right now this implies that 7.3 is the latest, and that's what I'm gonna get if I hit the main install button back over here. But I can choose to go back a version to 7.2. So, in fact, let's do that. Let's install an older version because we're pretending that we have a problem. So I'm gonna install that. Now, we're gonna wait. Now, I'm not gonna make you wait this whole time, so I'm gonna pause the video and we're going to accelerate that uh, process, and uh, we'll catch up here in a second. Okay, now just remember, um, as this wraps up, looks like we're about 91%. You can get to watch the, oh, there we go to 99. Just remember, you can do this anytime uh, without harm. You're simply just uninstalling the application and reinstalling the application. And all your preferences will be the same as long as you choose no. Keep preferences in that blue button, that first message, message that comes up. And your pictures are all in nice, safe folders. Your catalog's in a nice, safe folder. So, okay, here we go. Now, it says update now. Wait a second, I thought we just did that. No, we actually went backwards. So remember that in my case, I went, did not get the 7.3, because I, I had 7.3, I uninstalled 7.3, and I chose to go backwards to 7.2. So what it's telling me is that I still have the option to update to 7.3. If I click on the downward facing arrow and do other versions, you won't see 7.3 or 7.2 because 7.2 is what I'm running currently and it cannot install it again because I'm already in, uh, running it. It does not have 7.3 here because that is not an older version. It's the current version. So try not to get too confused with this. Now, just as a last note, you'll notice that I have older versions, uh, version 6, as well as version 5. Now, it's best not to go back. In fact, you really can't go back. The catalogs that you create in version 7 are not backwards compatible with 6 or 5. So you really actually can't do it. Those catalogs will not open. You'll have to start over or go find an old version 6 catalog or a version 5 catalog. So not recommended to go that far back. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and I hope this has helped, especially solving some problems where uninstalling and reinstalling either the updated version or an older version will help you make Lightroom go a little faster. All right, thank you so much.